we are moving to canada yeah i've always wanted to go to canada look at me i'm even dressed for the weather because you know it's really cold down there <laughs> i'm talking like someone that has been there i'm really really excited so i'm gonna be sharing with you how i got my visa stress-free first application nailed it so keep watching and get your pens and paper out because i got tips to you know how we do it and if you're yet to join the community what are you waiting for click the subscribe button to join like this video share it ask questions in the comment section let's keep the community active ah, i am really really excited <laughs> Hey fabulous travelers, ready to conquer Canada? In this video, I'll show you how to apply for a Canadian visitor visa like a boss and increase your chances of getting that stamp of approval. So let's dive in. Like I just said, I just got my visa approved and I will be heading to Canada very soon. So most of the things I'm going to be sharing are from my personal experience, but also the standard process and knowledge that you have on the website that you can use to increase your chances of getting your visitor visa approved. This was my first time, so I am pretty excited that I did this on my own. So let's go. Now the first step in applying for a Canadian visitor visa is understanding the requirements. First thing first, familiarize yourself with the Canadian visitor visa requirements check the official canadian government website for the latest and most accurate information now i have to tell you the canadian immigration website is very confusing honestly it's not as straightforward as you have here in new zealand where you just go to the visitor visa facts sheet and click apply now and it will take you to where you will log in or create an account it's not like that and this is why you need to really pay attention to this video to the end i will show you how you can navigate all of this okay let's keep going lovelies once you familiarize yourself with the requirements get your documents ready hon you will need your passport your recent passport sized photo travel itinerary proof of funds letter of explanation and an invitation letter if you are staying with a friend or family we'll talk more about that later if it's your first time applying like it was mine you will need to submit a biometric next up is to shine bright with your application you can apply on paper or you can apply online for online just hop onto the official canadian government website and navigate your way to the online application portal i find canadian immigration portal rather confusing and the visitor visa application steps <laughs> i don't get why they put us through all that but here is how you find the form so i found two ways of finding the form the first step is to simply go on your web browser and search visitor visa canada and it will give you a list so it's usually the second option i clicked the second option application for a visitor visa then scrolled and clicked apply online for a visa it's a button it then took me to the sign in portal where you sign in it's usually sign in option one it says the um sign in by gc key if you don't have that it's just simply register to create an account then go to start application section and click apply to come to canada it will take you to the page and you will quickly realize that you need a personal reference code to start your application if you don't have that personal reference code scroll to the section and say i don't have a personal reference code then select the visitor visa option it will bring up a lot of questions to answer to determine your eligibility and the documents you need so that is one way the second way is after you have searched visitor visa canada click the first option again you have those questions let's say i'm visiting as a tourist i don't know anyone i clicked here this option pops click it and it takes to this page it's asking again if you are sure i say yes next page is apply online so apply online i'm applying for myself right i'm applying for myself if no you have other options then 
once you click that it brings you again to the sign in page that is how i found the sign in page regardless of the approach that you use once you've successfully gotten there fill the form you have to download the application form and fill then validate it by clicking the validate button on the form you'll be asked about your visit your trip to canada you'll be asked about your education history employment history some background info if you are 18 or older if you've been denied visa before you'll be asked to explain to remember attention to details is key so take your time and make sure you slay every question once you have filled out the form make sure that you click the validate button to validate your form the validation creates a bunch of um, barcodes at the end of the form for official use and don't forget to save your validated form you would need a pdf reader for this because the form is in the pdf format using the checklist the application form is called the application for temporary resident visa inm5257 family information the others depend on the answer that you provide now you've finished your application the next step is that you need to attach your documents your application needs to be fierce and fabulous include all your supporting documents honey show them your travel history employment letter any ties you have to your home country give them something to talk about <laughs> The issue here is you will have to group these documents into single files depending on their groupings. The first is passport. Passport is passport. So that will stand alone. Evidence you can support yourself while you're in Canada. So bank statements for the past four months, pay slips for the past four months, leave later, employment later to show you have a source of income or any term account like fees deposit or investment. Just something that shows you can support yourself. If family or friends will be sponsoring you, then you have to include their proof of funds. Similarly, something that shows that they can support you. You know, not everyone can support you on that trip. So Merge all of these into one PDF document. This will be your proof of funds document. And what I'll advise is what I did for my case was I had a cover page, which was the first page, which listed everything that they expect to find in that, you know, document and the page numbers that they are on. So that's a tip. <laughs> Next up is purpose of travel. So you have that link that asks you to upload evidence that supports your purpose of travel. For this one, you have to include your travel itinerary. I'll say break it down to daily or group of days. So maybe day one, this is what you're going to do. Or maybe day one to three, you're going to do this. You know, stuff like that. If you're going for an event or a wedding of a friend, that will also help. You don't have to know exactly what you do because, you know, plans change. You may just decide that you're not feeling like going out that day and you're sleeping. But that's fine. It just wants, you know, to know that you have a plan. So you can break it down into daily day by day or you can group it into days however you want to do you have to also include where you will stay in that your itinerary i'll advise you to do that then a letter of invitation if you are visiting family or friends if your family or friend is a canadian citizen a copy of their citizenship um, certificate will be required again merge all of these into one document and that document would be your evidence showing purpose of travel. Then you have another evidence that they require, which is the travel history. This one is very simple. All your visa labels, exit and entry stamps, visitor approval letters. So for countries that give e-visas, you need your visa approval letter. If you are a resident of any country, let's say you're a resident of one country and a citizen of another country, add your immigration status. So as a citizen of that country, you will have your passport, which will now be your passport, but then you have a residency status in another country. Add that residency status as part of your travel history. Merge all of them into one document, and this would be uploaded as travel history. Very important is I would highly recommend you add a letter of explanation as an additional supporting document down the form they have a place where they ask you if you have any other documents upload you upload add a letter of explanation very important it's just like a cover letter in that letter it explains everything that needs explaining for instance you may not have had enough time enough space to write um if you have been denied visa for instance you may not have had enough space to write the reasons why you were denied visas and you know stuff to you know make you look good and all that <laughs> so a letter of explanation is a place to do that if you've been denied a visa explain why in this your letter of explanation and make sure that you have um sort of like put documents new information that will not make them deny you again based on that reason if you haven't booked flights and accommodation yet because you know you're not sure 
if they are going to be your visa is going to be approved which i won't advise you to mention it in the letter of explanation and why you haven't done this usually is because you know you need to wait to get your visa you need to know when your visa is going to be approved sometimes you apply for a visa and you want to travel in say october but the visa was up is going to be approved in september if you had booked your flight and accommodation you know you're going to run into financial losses so this is something you explain in your letter of explanation and remember to tell them that you have the money to book once the visa is approved if visiting friends and family state that in your letter their relationship to you where they live their immigration status in canada how many children they have if they have children you know the details you provide should show that you know this person and as a bonus um at the end of the letter you can also state that you've attached you know those other supporting documents just in case for some whatever reason they missed it but in this your letter of explanation they see that oh you attached something they're like oh i didn't see that they'll go back and check again you know use your hq <laughs> now you've attached all your supporting documents review your application thoroughly double check that you've included all the necessary documents before you submit online once you've done that you submit your application and then time to make it brain darling pay the visa application fee which is a sum of two components okay the biometric which is 85 canadian dollars per person and if it's a family is 170 dollars if family and then you have the actual visa fee which is 100 canadian dollars so in total if you're just a, an individual you'll be paying 185 canadian dollars for this application you will get a confirmation that they've received your application once you have paid your visa fees they'll also send you a message on the portal so usually when they send the email they don't send it with all the messages you have to log in to see what they send to you remember that they'll just tell you that you have a message after you submitted and paid your visa application fee, you're going to get another email when you sign in it's going to be a message which is requesting for your biometric and instructions on how to submit it this is where you this is when you now have to book for biometric collection at a visa application center unlike the australian visitor visa that i talked about where you have to pay a service fee for canada you won't pay service fee at the visa application center some applicants may need to attend interview they will let you know if you need to but i believe it's it's most likely going to be a no especially if you are going for a short stay visit and the next step ircc will check your application to make sure that you have all the documents if it's incomplete they'll return your application without approving it which adds extra time so get your documents intact if your application is approved you'll be asked to send your passport if it's not approved they will need your passport they send your passport email will come with some instructions basically asking you to send it to a canadian visa application center in new zealand it's only in auckland <laughs> now something to note here is that if the vac that's visa application center you submitted your biometric is different from the vac you'll be sending your passport to you will be asked to pay a service fee so what happened is if you submit your biometric in a different visa application center and send your passport to another visa application center that is not the one you submitted your biometric at when you are going to send your passport you are going to pay a service fee to that visa application center in my case it was approximately 75 new zealand dollars with an extra twenty dollars for postage add that to the 185 canadian dollars visa application is expensive people <laughs> so as much as you can try to get it in the first try anyway here are some helpful tips to work it for approval firstly keep that attitude high and mighty positive vibes only hon be real be you and remember honesty is always the best policy honey don't try to be someone you are not in your application they can tell make sure your travel plans are well thought out and reasonable <laughs> reasonable is a key word here so show them that you have it all planned out through your itinerary through the letters through the supporting documents and lastly apply early so that you get your visa approved in time to travel when you need to travel otherwise you may miss 
the time to travel if you're going for a wedding you have to apply way early so that it gets approved so that you can meet the wedding otherwise they may approve it and you have missed the wedding <laughs> in conclusion with these fierce tips and sassy tips you are all set to conquer the canadian visitor visa application process and slay your way into canada <laughs> remember confidence charisma and preparation are your best accessories for success now go out there and show them you are the queen or king of travel <laughs>